Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today we're going to show you how to create an Instagram account, hopefully. So, this will actually be my second attempt at this because earlier I went to go do this and it did not work at all. And it appears that the reason this didn't work probably is because they have safeguards in place not to create, uh, just infinitely create accounts unless you're like a real person. So we're going to go ahead and hopefully step around that just a little bit, even though it isn't something that's technically supposed to be done. Uh, I think we have a way that we're going to do it. So instead of creating an Instagram with a email address, we're actually going to sign up using a telephone number. This should give the account or the setup a little more credibility than it would have had otherwise. So, uh, as I enter in the telephone number here, I'm going to be, uh, well, we're just going to fill out the telephone number, the name. In fact, I think the password will be fine there. And then I have a somewhat complicated password to enter in. But just in case that something that is being very carefully monitor two we're going to choose something of a simplistic password give me a second i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to record the username and the telephone number here now in order to do what i want to do later which is set up an account that i can delete so i can show how to delete this uh well we'll need an account and so that's why i'm creating an Instagram account today. I think it might have been uh, it might have been Instagram that was having the problem where I couldn't create one until I did it on an Android phone with a phone number. This may not work, but we're going to try it and see if it'll work. Uh, so far it hasn't flagged me and it hasn't gone ballistic. Uh, probably because getting a phone number costs money and they're using this as a preventative measure to let people in. Uh, so, so far, the setup has gone pretty straightforward. Uh, enter in your phone number, enter in your name, enter in your login name or your account name, and then enter in a password. Uh, I probably bleeped some of those out a little bit so you couldn't see it, but unlike entering in an email address, which I tried to do previously, this one let me right in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to follow some people here. Let's go ahead and follow Nat Geo. NASA sounds good. I don't know what coconuts are, but maybe Nike. Let's see. Nat Geo Travel. Uh, computer games are awesome. And that should be good. All right, so now we have an active and working account, and you were able to see right off the top how I was able to create this from start to finish. Uh, a couple of things to keep in mind if you are running into a problem where you are creating an account and you're just not able to do it. Like we literally, um, sorry, I spent some time uh, kind of researching this a little bit because... Uh, I could not create one earlier. I used a email address and I used some name and information or uh, just a general name and information It flagged it immediately. The problem with that is, is once you flag that general information, that information too can act as a flag. And so creating that becomes a really big problem. Good news is I'm sure you can do things like just use initials for your first name or last name if something like this happens. Uh, the next step I'm going to do is to go ahead and delete the account. Uh, as I said, uh, when you create the account, uh, using a phone number seems to be the best way to get around the really stringent methods of blocking your account. Uh, everything here actually looks good. It looks like everything is working okay. I can add stuff into it. So I will call this a success uh, and leave it at that. That is how you create an Instagram account. Uh, I will 
go ahead and stop this here. I've got to reset this for the next step, which is to delete the account. But I wish you all a happy or great rest of your week. And thank you for watching.